shrinking cat, Grandpa! Catch me if you can! My sister Elsie, well, sometimes, but I also like it when she goes to her swimming lesson because then I get to play the Captain Dumbletwit game with Grandpa and my cousin Jason. Yes! Three gold galaxies! Today I'm going to win this. Yes, today I'm going to save the universe. Oh, you lot, you're obsessed with Captain Dumbletwit. Obsessed! Great Aunt Loretta was helping out in the mill because we were expecting a new guest. Who was going to do a show in the Smiley's Cafe? Yes, four gold galaxies. Hooray! Grandpa, what exactly is our new guest? Is he a pop star? No, he's a ventriloquist. Ventriloquist? You know, he can make something talk without moving his lips. Like this. Your turn, Jason. Your turn. Come on. But just then, we heard this. Oh, sounds like Mr Whoops's car. I ran out onto the balcony. It is Mr. Whips's car. Come on, Wolfie. I ran downstairs and Wolfie followed. Miss Smiley had borrowed Mr. Whips's car to bring us our new guest. Wolfie ran to the meadow just as Miss Smiley arrived. Great Aunt Loretta heard the barking and came outside. Oh, hello, Miss Smiley. Oh, hi, Loretta. You're never going to guess who's here. And up popped the ventriloquist. Bertie, Beep and his talking sheep. But he wasn't a very good ventriloquist, as you'll see. It's me, Bertie Beep, and I'm Walter, his talking sheep. Oh, we're going to have some fun with this guest. Brilliant. I'm Loretta. We're two of a kind, aren't we, Walter? Two of a kind we are. Yeah, well, if you just like to... Like peas in a pod, like peas. Well, if one of you... Did... You're my best friend in the whole world, Water Sheep. And you're my best friend in the whole world, Bertie Bee. Oh, for goodness sake, do either of you ever stop talking? Oh, aren't they hilarious? What else do you do, Walter? Well, I like playing chase. I'm coming to get you. Bye. Oh. I don't think Loretta's enjoying this. Oh, oh, oh. It's not going down well. <laughs> Walter has a mind of his own. I can't stop him. Oh, just then, Great Aunt Loretta oh, did this. You go away. Walter's hat flew through the air and went down the rabbit hole. Walter's hat? He's gone down a rabbit hole. No! <laughs> it's not my fault. The sheep is going to nibble me. Let's all calm down and go inside. Come along. We'll find a way of getting your hat back. Right. We need a plan. Josh, you go down to the meadow and wait for me. What are you thinking, Grandpa? You'll see. Just go. There's only one way to get that hat back, Jason. And it means I have to be small. Not the shrinking cap, Grandpa. Catch me if you can. When Grandpa shrinks, he gets up to all kinds of things. His magic makes things go. He can fly in Jason's plane. He can drive in his car. And today, he jumped into my helicopter and flew out of the window. Grandpa! You keep a lookout, Josh. I'll get the hat. The rabbit told he went. Whoops! Oh, <laughs> hello there. It was Mr. Twitch Whiskers guarding the hat. You're not going to move, are you? Well, please yourself. I'll go the other way. And Grandpa went the other way. Aha! The hat! Grandpa went to pick up the hat, but Mr Twitch Whiskers didn't want him to have it. Oh, you again. 
Now look, Mr. Twitch Whiskers, I know I wasn't invited, but all I want is the sheep's hat. Then I'll be off. But Mr. Twitch Whiskers wasn't happy, so he chased Grandpa. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the kitchen... <laughs> oh, poor Walter, you've lost your hat. My hat, my hat. <laughs> he hasn't lost his voice, has he? Well, he's got a voice of his own, as Walter. I'm so sad. Oh, <laughs> now, let's not get so upset. Oh, I can't stand all this noise. I'm going out to get some fresh air. <sighs> Where's Grandpa when you need him? Gone for a little lie down, I expect. Oh. <laughs> but of course, Grandpa wasn't having a little lie down. Just then, he threw Walter's hat out of the rabbit hole and Wolfie grabbed it. I picked Grandpa up and put him in my pocket. And just in time, because... Oh! Wolfie's got it! Wolfie's got the hat! Give it here, you! Oh. Right! That should shut the sheep up. Here we are. One hat. <gasps> you are a wonder woman. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm so happy. You are a genius. Oh, well, thank you. You are my hero. Oh, well, I do what I can. You are the best. Oh, quite a nice little sheep yourself, really. <laughs> wow. Wow. I love you, Loretta. Wow. What do you like? When I see you walking down the street, I know I'm in for a treat. I can't help it, I just want to bleat. Won't you have a little bar with me? <laughs> ba, 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 we're barring in harmony. Ba, 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 just have a little bar with me. <laughs> when I see you walking right by, all the stars just twinkle in the sky. And my heart goes boom and I cry Won't you have a little bar with me? I don't mind if I do <laughs> Ba, 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 ba We're barring in harmony Ba, 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 ba Just have a little bar with me Ba, 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 ba We're barring in harmony Have a little bar, have, have a, a little, little bar, bar with me. me. Oh, that was lovely. But we better set off to the cafe now. You've got a show to do, boys. You're right. Oh dear. Oh no. <coughs> I'm losing my voice. Ooh, it's a good job you won't have to speak then, isn't it? It's all down to Walter. <laughs> but if. Bertie's lost his voice, then... Oh. I've lost mine as well. <coughs> this was a disaster. Oh, green goo. That's what you need. <laughs> I quickly had a word with Grandpa. There's only one thing for it. You've got to get me inside that sheep. I'll see what I can do. Luckily, Jason had guessed the plan. We'll look after Walter for you, Bertie, while you drink your green gloop. Green no. gloop is spinach and sprout shake. Get that down, you. Jason handed me the sheep and Grandpa jumped out of my pocket and on went the hat. I can't drink it. I'll be sick. No need to drink it now. What? I said no need for green gloop. I'm better. Was that you, Josh? No, it's water. Goodness me, he really does have a voice of his own. <gasps> That means the show will go on. But Josh will have to do the show with me, or I'll have no one to talk to. Oh, oh right. that's a very good idea. Well, come on, everyone. We don't want to be late. Come on, Bertie. So off I went with Grandpa hiding in a sheep's hat to do a show at Miss Smiley's Cafe. And because we're such a good team, it went really well. 
when I see you walking down the street. I know I'm in for a treat. I can't help it, I just want to bleed. Won't you have a little bar with me? Ba, 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 we're barring in harmony. Ba, 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 just have a little bar with me. Ba, 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 we're barring in harmony. Ba, 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 just have a little bar with me. Bertie B was so proud of Walter. So was great Aunt Loretta. When we got back to the mill, I managed to get Grandpa out of Walter's hat without anyone seeing, and I ran upstairs. Oh, quick! You made a brilliant sheep! Oh, 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 I couldn't have done it without your help. Teamwork, eh? Teamwork! <laughs> oh, I hear it all went very well, Loretta. And that you found a new admirer, huh? a sheep. <laughs> a sheep that's a whole lot cleverer than you, Grandpa. A sheep with a voice of his own. <laughs> He's having a little lie down now. It's all that baaing, I expect. Ba, 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 ba. Have a little bar with me. Oh, I didn't know you knew that song, Grandpa. Walter sang it much better. <laughs> ba, ba, ba. 